Okay, so this um, PowerPoint is going to um, cover chapter one of Fundamentals of English Grammar. Its focus of this PowerPoint is on 1-1. One -one. um, <coughs> I've also in Canvas uploaded the uh, this PowerPoint um, that you can take through, uh, go through without without the audio. So let's talk first about what you already know. So with these ones, we want to correct. We want to choose the correct verbs. So for number one, should it be Simon walk is walking or walks uh, to work every morning, every day? Sorry. And the answer should be walks. Here, hurry. The bus come comes is coming. Should be is coming. And should it be do are or is you leaving now? And it should be R. And then uh, this one, my classes starts, is starting or start at nine uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it should be start. All right. So this, this is covering the first table um, in Fundamentals of English Grammar. So we're talking about a comparison of the simple present and the present progressive. So the simple present expresses daily habits or usual activities, and it's also used to express general statements of facts. And you can see the examples here. So in general, the simple present is used for events or situations that exist always. This is statements of fact, usually, which means most of the time, or habitually, which means reoccurring in the past, present, and future. So when we look at the table, uh, when we look at this table over here, we see that here we have the past, here we have the present, and we have the future. We're using the simple present tense for something that is habitual, or that's either always true, was true in the past, and is true now, and will be true in the future, or is repetitively true, is going to repeat. So here's an example of habits. I brush my teeth every morning. Here's an example of a fact. Hydrogen and oxygen make water. Here's an example of another habit. I cook breakfast every morning. Um, here's an example of usual activities, maybe not habits, but something you do regularly. James and his dad play basketball twice a week. Here's, a, here's another example of a fact. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So to review, we use the simple present for habits, usual activities, and facts. So let's do this uh, quick activity for fun facts. All right, so we're not going to do, do this, uh, but we can go through and do some of these activities. Follow these ones. So in this one, state facts about pandas or state facts about or state facts about the Statue of Liberty. State facts about air. So I'm going to skip through all of that because that really is something that should be done together. Um, so the second part of Table 1-1 is talking about the present progressive. So the present progressive expresses an activity that's in progress or is encouraging, incur, occurring or happening right now. Uh, it, it means it's that the event is in progress at the time that the speaker is saying the sentence. Um, the event began in the past and is in progress now and will probably continue into the future. So if we take a look at this, remember with the simple present, we had a whole bunch of X's because we're saying something is habitually true or is continuously true. But when we talk about the present progressive, we're, something, we're talking about something that started before now, is continuing up until now, and will finish 
at some point um, in the future. Another way of thinking of the present progressive is at, it's something that's incomplete, meaning that it's not finished yet, but that it will finish at some point. So here's an example. She is dancing with her friend. They're dancing, right? It's something that's going on right now, and assumedly it's going to end at some point. Um, the kids are playing upstairs, right? It's something that's going on right now, but will end at some point, hopefully before they break some. Um, they, uh, they're hiking by the river, right? They're, it's a, something that's in progress right now, but will end at some So all of these are examples of the present progressive being something that is happening right now. So in this one, you want to decide whether you should be using the simple present or the present progressive. So just as a review, the simple present is used for habitual activities or facts, right? Things that are always true. The present progressive is, is used for activities that are in progress, that started in the past, continue right now, and will finish at some point in the future. They're incomplete activities. So in this first one, should it be Joe usually drinks or is drinking coffee before class? The answer here is drinks. The clue in this one is this word usually. Usually is a word that is talking about habitual or repeated activities, right? Uh, right now, he gives, is giving a talk about U.S. history. The answer should be is giving. And here's the clue right now, right? So that it's an activity that's in progress. He's not finished with it. Please repeat that. I take am taking notes. So in this one, it should be am taking, right? Because the person is talking, they're asking you to repeat it because they're in the middle of the class. They're taking notes. Every Tuesday and Thursday, John works or is working from home. In this one, it should be works. And the clue here is this idea that it's repeated every Tuesday and Thursday. Ava teaches, is teaching an online class every Wednesday. So in this one, it should be teaches. And the clue here, again, is every Wednesday. It's a repeated activity. So now you want to ask, now we're going a little bit further. Um, so we want to say, is this an, a usual activity or happening right now? This is actually a really simple um, question to do once you understand really what it's asking. We said that usual activity is always using the simple present, the simple present tense, right? Um, and things that are happening right now are using the present progressive. So really, to decide if it's a usual activity or in progress right now, the only thing we really need to do is determine the verb. Is it simple present or is it present progressive? So in this one, we can see that this is is talking. So this is the present progressive. And we know the present progressive means happening right now. So it's going to be this is something that's in progress right now. If we look at the next one, again, we want to focus here on, on the verb, right? And we see that this is in the simple present tense, so this is going to be a usual activity. Again, they talk once a week. Take a look at the verb. Simple present, so it's going to be a usual activity. Daniel calls his brother every weekend. Look here at the verb, calls, simple present, usual activity. Um, they aren't talking about the weather. We're looking at the verb, present progressive, so it's in progress right now, right? So once you understand that, it's actually a really simple question to ask, to answer. 
they're arguing about a football game. Again, let's look here at the verb. This is progressive. So it's going to be in progress right now. <coughs> so in these ones, um, it says, look at the look at the pictures, say one simple present statement and one present progressive statement for each picture. So for example, if we look at picture one, we can say she loves the outdoors. And what is she doing right now? She is climbing a mountain. Um, uh, if we look at the the next one right right here we could say she uh she loves the water she's swimming in a pool um in this one we could say i can't read exactly what it says but let's pretend this is a restaurant universe say she works at a restaurant and she is writing in a notebook um over here um, um, uh, he, uh, he likes to dance. You could say he is dancing. Um, for this one, you could say, I don't know, we can make something up. Um, he, uh, loves his friends and you can say he's talking on the phone. Okay, so for more of this, go to the exercises in uh, chapter one and look at chart number one for help with this.